okay so this is uh, cam 342 course and this is lecture 3 and the topic is uh, adrenal glands part 1 and I am Dr. Musaddiq Ibrahim assistant professor department of chemistry first so moving towards the adrenal glands topic so the topics to be discussed they include types of adrenal glands location of adrenal glands functions of adrenal glands the hormones which are secreted by adrenal glands and chemistry of adrenal glands so moving towards the location of adrenal glands that where they are present in the human body so looking at this picture you can see that the adrenal glands they are present on top of the each kidney and this is the location where the adrenal glands are present now if you enlarge this uh, image so this is the enlarged image and uh, you can see that uh, there are a pair of adrenal glands so one is uh, right adrenal glands present on top of the right kidney and then you have left adrenal gland which is present on top of the left kidney and uh, the rest you have the left renal artery the left renal vein which are connected to the left kidney and then on the right hand side you have right renal artery and right renal vein which are supplying blood and taking the deoxygenated blood back from the right kidney and then you have in the middle the inferior vena cava and the abdominal aorta which are also responsible for the transport of blood or supply of blood to the kidney right so the adrenal glands if you look at the cross section so this is the cross section area of the adrenal glands and there are two regions in the adrenal glands one is the adrenal cortex which is the outer region of the adrenal gland and the other one is the adrenal medulla which is the inner region of the adrenal gland so let's see that if you magnify this cross section so then you can see that one of the portion of the adrenal glands is the adrenal cortex which is this one and then further this adrenal cortex has three regions so the first one the outer region is zona glomerulosa and the middle region is the zona fasciculata and the interior region is zona reticularis and then after this you have the inner portion of the adrenal gland which is adrenal medulla so the zona glomerulosa 
it secretes a hormone which is known as aldosterone and the zona fasciculata from the adrenal cortex region secretes two types of hormones which are cortisol and androgens and in case of adrenal medulla so it, it secretes two types of hormones which are epinephrine and norepinephrine which are also known as the stress hormones or flight or fight hormones which are secreted during the process of fight or flight so now moving towards the adrenal gland location so as we discussed in the previous slides that uh, they are present on top of each kidney so they are present near the kidneys and uh, these are two separate gland structures which are present on each kidney and they are called adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla so the adrenal cortex is the outer region of the adrenal gland and adrenal medulla is the inner region of the adrenal gland now in case of adrenal cortex there are three zones in adrenal cortex which secrete three types of steroid hormones so the outer zone which secretes mineralocorticoids the middle zone which secretes glucocorticoids and the inner zone which secretes androgens which are also known as the sex hormones now here again you should remember that the outer zone is the zona glomerulosa and the middle zone is zona fasciculata and the inner zone is the zona reticularis so in case of adrenal cortex it does not receive neural innervation which means that the nervous system and the neurons they are not being intervened within the structure of the adrenal cortex while in case of adrenal medulla the neural innervation is present in its structure now the adrenal cortex must be stimulated hormonally by ACTH which stands for adrenocorticotropic hormone and again as we know that the adrenal cortex consists of three zones which are zona glomerulosa which is also known as the outer zone zona fasciculata which is also known as the middle zone as we saw the picture in the previous slide and zona reticularis which is the inner zone and uh, these adrenal cortex they secretes corticosteroids hormones which we will be discussing in the coming slides so in case of adrenal cortex it secretes over 30 different steroid hormones which are collectively known as corticosteroids now there are different types of corticosteroids which are secreted by the adrenal cortex from the different regions of the 
adrenal cortex so the first one is mineralo corticoids which are secreted by the outer zone of the adrenal cortex which is also known as the zona glomerulosa the example of uh, the mineral corticoids is aldosterone which maintains electrolyte balance the second type of uh, corticosteroids are glucocorticoids which are secreted by the middle region of the adrenal cortex which is also known as the zona fasciculata the example of glucocorticoids hormones is cortisol and the function of cortisol is to stimulate gluconeogenesis so gluconeogenesis is the synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate moieties or compounds other than carbohydrates like fat molecules or protein molecules so that process is being stimulated by cortisol another function of cortisol is mobilization of free fatty acids either inside the cell or outside the cell and cortisol also acts as anti inflammatory agent and sometimes the synthetic form of cortisol is given given to patients who have some inflammation problem or injury and as a result of using cortisol the anti inflammatory response is observed the third type of uh, corticosteroids are gonadocorticoids which are secreted by the inner zone of the adrenal cortex and uh, that zone is also known as zona reticularis the examples of these hormones secreted are testosterone estrogen and progesterone and these hormones are also known as the sex hormones now the functions of the adrenal cortex are divided into different regions of the adrenal cortex which secrete different types of hormones so the first one is zona glomerulosa and it secretes mineralocorticoids the example is aldosterone and the function of aldosterone is to stimulate kidney to reabsorb sodium ions and secrete potassium ions so that is a very important function of aldosterone that it allows the kidney to reabsorb sodium so that it is not secreted into the urine as well as to secrete potassium ions into the urine now moving towards zona fasciculata which is the middle zone of the adrenal cortex and uh, the hormones which are secreted by this region are glucocorticoids the example is cortisol and the function of cortisol is to inhibit glucose utilization as well as stimulate gluconeogenesis so it means that it reserves the amount of glucose in the human body so that whenever there is a need of extra glucose in the body so the glucose is present and it can be utilized along with it it stimulates the gluconeogenesis process which is as i said earlier 
is the process of uh, synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate molecules like proteins and fats and then the last one is the zona reticularis which is the inner zone of the adrenal cortex and that secretes sex steroids or sex hormones like progesterone estrogen testosterone which are involved in sexual behavior the development of the sexual organs and other sex related activities so these are the references for further reading explanation and the first one is linger biochemistry the second one is comprehensive biochemistry by longman the third one is general biochemistry by cleaner and orton the fourth one is textbook of medical physiology by guyton and hall the fifth one is biological chemistry by harper and row and uh, i will suggest that uh, if the students can get the textbook of uh, medical physiology by garten and hall so that will be a very good book for reading for understanding and for conceptual clearance of the topic thank you